What's up Star Wars fans, today I want to preview the Ahsoka series episode 1 and 2. That's right, the show premieres tomorrow, August 22nd at 9pm Eastern Standard Time, 6pm Pacific Time and 1am in the UK. And before we get to the preview of the actual series, I gotta say one of the most interesting things about this show is just how well Disney has actually promoted it. There have been an absolute ton of trailers and behind the scenes footage. The other day we got a complete clip and I can't remember any other Disney Plus show that has come anywhere near this type of promotion. And hey, it makes sense Ahsoka is somewhat an unknown character, at least to the mainstream audience that is, not to mention the show is premiering at the end of August, which is traditionally a time for folks to go on vacation. So personally, I'm very interested to see how this marketing is going to pay off and just how big of a premiere that Ahsoka is going to have. If I had to guess, I'd say because of the time of year and because Ahsoka isn't all that well known by the mainstream audience, it's not going to be the biggest premiere. That said, let's talk about the actual series itself. Now, the majority of the reviews that have come in have said that these first two episodes, well, they set things up for the rest of the series. And I think the first of those things that's going to be set up by these two episodes is the relationship between Ahsoka and Sabine. The trailers have showed us that Sabine and Ahsoka have a master and apprentice relationship and it's going to be really interesting to see how that came to be and personally I really hope that not only do we get that but we get some hints as to what Ahsoka and Sabine were doing during the original trilogy. Other than that main relationship between Sabine and Ahsoka being established, the next big thing that has to be established is the threat of Thrawn. From what the trailers have hinted at, it looks like Ahsoka and Hera are going to be going to the New Republic and Mom Mothma in particular to tell them about this emerging threat known as Thrawn. Personally, I'm really looking forward to seeing some more about the New Republic and how Mon Mothma and the other politicians handle this problem. And so once we have the relationship between Ahsoka and Sabine and the problem of Thrawn's re-emergence, we also need to be introduced to our villains. The trailers have definitely shown us that Balin Skull and Shin Hati will have a lot of on-screen time as the apprentice Shin seems to come into contact with Sabine Wren more than once, once before Sabine cuts her hair and then once after, and Balin and Shin are both seen attacking a New Republic cruiser, no doubt trying to track down some vital information or technology that's going to help them bring back Thrawn to the known galaxy. But other than Balin and Shin, there is also Morgan Elsbeth. We met her first in The Mandalorian Season 2, so it's going to be very interesting to see how she's escaped Ahsoka and is continuing to help about Thrawn. In the past, I've suggested that Ahsoka let her loose so that she could help Ahsoka track down Thrawn, but perhaps Balin and Shin are actually rescuing Morgan Elsbeth from that New Republic ship that they're attacking. That would certainly make a lot of sense. And I gotta say, if that does make sense, what doesn't make sense is that there's an Inquisitor in this show. I mean, we didn't hear anything about the Inquisitors during the original trilogy, so the fact that we have this character Marok the Inquisitor in this series, I really hope Dave Filoni explains at least a little bit as to how this Inquisitor has survived all this time, and if he or she was actually one of the Inquisitors that worked for Palpatine, or if this is just a Force-sensitive individual that has been working for Thrawn, or maybe even Balin or Morgan Elsbeth. But that all said, there's just one more thing that I think we need to establish in these first two episodes, and that is, does Sabine in a Ahsoka actually believe that Ezra Bridger is still alive. When they set out to try and find Thrawn, which is what the trailers are hinting at, are they also trying to find their old friend Ezra Bridger? Do they really think that it's possible that he survived? That's something that really hasn't been hinted at by the trailers. Yes, we do see Sabine looking at a hologram of Ezra Bridger, but she could be doing that because she thinks he's dead, not because she wants to go rescue him. Likewise, we also see Sabine, as we did in Star Wars, Wars Rebels touching her mural, and Ezra in particular, but again that doesn't tell us that they have hope that Ezra has survived. And although I don't think it's absolutely necessary, it's going to be very interesting to see if early on in episode 1 we do get some sort of flashback showing the mainstream audience that yes indeed Ahsoka was Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. Over the years I've certainly speculated about this a lot, but now that I'm previewing the episode I'm not sure if it's going to be a big 
big part of episode one. There's just so much that Dave Filoni has to fit into this episode, though remember the first episode does have a runtime of 53 minutes, and the second one I believe is somewhere around 40. But hey Star Wars fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, I'm Mike, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.